are so dry. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Do you need cream? I got text. Thank you. Shane uses nipple cream, so. Nipple cream? <laughs> yes, yeah. light pack. Well, nipple skin is pretty much the same as lip skin. And the inside what? of your mouth is the same as your the head of your dick. What? I'm sure you're. What? Like, wait. wait. And yes. I'm sure if you stick no. within like a like a centimeter in of your anus, probably that skin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What? How are you healing? What do you mean? Sorry, that's just, that's what Lizzo says. How are you feeling? Good. Is everything good? Yes. Are you good? Are we rolling? Yes. Oh, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh is, my God. How are you healing? Is that like what she's trying to how say? How you healing? Is that, no. <laughs> yes. That's the lyric? Yes, because it's all about like coming back after like a long break. I wrote the song. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, how are you feeling? How are you healing? You know, <laughs> I'm healing all right. <laughs> I'm healing all right. You know, Chris, you always outshine us. What are you dressed as right now? You look so cool. You're wearing a black leather jacket. If you're an audio listener only, which by the way, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that five star. <laughs> but um, for audio listeners, Chris is dressed uh, like a 1950s greaser. It fits you perfect. Thank you. I'm Do jealous. you really think so? Yeah, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, before we get into it. Hey, God, I feel like we haven't really said hello yet. How are you guys healing? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> what is that, Chris? Uh, it's a comb. It looks like <gasps> a switchblade. Is that a knife? It looks like a knife, but it is, in fact, a comb. Wow. Wow. It's right. Yeah, that looks pretty serious, dude. You want to feel it? Why no. am I turned on when you flip the knife Shame. out? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get a knife. Keep me interested. Is it? Is there something sexier about the fact that it's a comb? Like, would it be sexier if it was a real knife? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> Let me just throw out there, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody rolled up on me and they're like, give me everything you have. Mm. And I was like, they ain't got a weapon on them. Mm -hmm. I ain't worried. And then they pulled out what you just did and were serious. I was like, this motherfucker's crazy, dude. <laughs> He got a comb and he's this confident in robbing me. I'd at least give you like ten bucks, you know, just for the effort. Depending on how you came at me, I might think you're crazy enough to really do something, though, you know. Well, hey guys, welcome back. And it would also be offensive, like to roll up on me with a comb, you know. So maybe I would think it's like, is that a joke? You know. Uh huh. Yes. Whatever. I digress. Yes. It's yes. Hey, you got a good beard, though. Welcome back to uh, whatever the hell this is. We're not really sure, but you know what? We're having fun. It's episode three. I feel like we're in a good groove. We're in a good vibe. Um, and you guys, I think you like it. <laughs> I don't know. This feels good, right? I love it. <laughs> we're talking cool. about them at home. Yeah, we're talking about oh, them. Oh, I think they're healing great about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I have a lot of notes, a lot of ideas, a lot of things written down for this show. But before we get into that, I think we need to address something that is going to become a problem. Oh. Mm. I, I question my life every day because of this. What? Wow, the buildup, dude. Well, you guys, are doing, <laughs> yeah. you guys well, are doing great. Okay, here's the thing. So my plan, our plan... Um, sorry, I'll include you next time when I say it. <laughs> our plan was to go back to Colorado to our other house. Uh, our our house. <laughs> I mean, we literally, like, sh we weren't even supposed to be here now. This house was supposed to be sold. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. I just realized something. Hold on. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> You'd say we're fighting, right? I mean, of course. We're always fighting in, when we're on a podcast. Okay. Uh-oh, here we go again. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Shane and Ryland. <laughs> See? So you're so trying to... It lightens it up a little bit. No, you're, that means you paid somebody because you want us to fight on the podcast. Like, that's all that tells me. Is no. He went on Fiverr and was like, write a song about how we fight so that I can pick fights and have a theme song for our fights. No, I just knew... That, you know, once in a while we get to fight and it's okay. It's healthy. I think. Are we going to work it out? Yes. We're working it right now. Yeah. A lot of things happen. We came back here to sell this house. We got cold feet. We didn't want to sell it. Then Jared was like, you should film a random podcast. Just try it out. So we did. Now I love it. And now this is my passion. This is my thing. I had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm losing my mind, but I am Ooh. like in, I'm like, I love this podcast. I want to do this. Like, let's do this. And what do we do about 
Colorado. We have to go back soon. How are we going to do this? Like, how, what do we do? So now we don't know what we're doing. Are we going to go back to Colorado? How are you guys going to get there? Am I going to come back here to do the show? So there's a lot of questions up in the air. Are you all going to be fine if it's a different location is what Shane's saying. He's really well, no, I ordered corduroy couch. I ordered this exact couch for the Colorado house because I'm like, I have to have the same vibe. But then it was like too expensive to ship. So there's a lot of things. I don't know. I didn't expect to have a podcast, you know, with fam. That's you guys. I didn't expect this to happen. Bing bong. So what do I do? You guys think we should keep doing the show? <laughs> like, I do you, look forward to this so much. I'd be so sad if I'm we stopped. <laughs> oh my God. I look forward to you so much. Jared? You know, I think that uh, we got something good going here. So it feels like something in motion should stay in motion. And mm. I feel like we're in motion here. So it feel like it makes sense to keep it going. So are you, you guys know? willing? I mean, obviously I'll pay for travel, but are you guys willing to come to Colorado Yes. You know, like once a month ish, yeah. and I come here once a month, and then we make it work. <laughs> it's like, oh yes. fuck. <laughs> I mean, I feel like with modern technology <laughs> and the transportation available to human beings, mm -hmm. we got this. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried okay. about it. You tell right. me. Well, are you dude, talking virtual? Or are you, you talking you say, a plane? No, nah, man. Fuck the Zoom shit. Okay, we ain't that's doing what I was all saying. that because I think the whole thing is the vibe is us being in the same room. All right. I mean, listen, I want to keep doing this show. It's honestly, and I'm not just saying this and not cause I'm drunk and also high on caffeine <laughs> <laughs> um, and thinking about Chris murdering me. Um, and you, you too. I'm saying this really genuinely. This is the most fun I've had making something and also the most proud I've been of something I think ever. And I don't want to stop. So thank you guys for doing this with me. Thank you, Jared, for pushing me to do this and inspiring me. And thank you, Chris, for just coming to set looking beautiful. And thank you to Rylan for... Um... Here he goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you to Rylan for being the asshole. I feel like it's fun. Or for being supportive or supportive. for being loving, for loving. showing up for you. Totally. But also being that little bratty fucking asshole that we love. I don't know if they love it, but like, uh, I mean, you need to, it, but no podcast is fun if you agree with all four of the people. Somebody, right. you have to disagree mm -hmm. with somebody or it's boring. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. And I think assholes are underrated. You know, imagine what life would be if you didn't have an asshole. You wouldn't be able to poop, <laughs> you know? I think asshole is a crucial part of, uh, I agree. of anything. I agree. Well then, okay, we'll keep doing the show. If you guys want it, give us a like, let us know in the comments. Do you want us to keep doing the show? Cause it's going to be real complicated, but we're going to figure it out if that's what you want. Cause that's what we want. No, but like, I really want, like literally all that I do is work. And this is like the one time I get to work and hang out and talk. And like, I get so excited now. Like when I get closer to the day, I'm like, oh, I get to talk to like my friends. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, let's jump into it. All right. Chris is cool, he's from Peru. His Peruvian facts are fun for me and you. Okay, Chris, I have a surprise. Okay. I know that you think we're about to do Peruvian facts. <laughs> okay. But we're actually going to take a break from Peruvian facts for a week. Okay. And focus on the other side of your heritage. <laughs> He's half German, he's so bright, he's a factual delight. Are you ready for some fun? German facts with Chris. Is that nice. the same girl? Yes. She's our queen. She's, she's the best. She's amazing. <laughs> um, okay, Chris. So you're going to give us a German fact today. And I want you to do it in your German accent because I like it and it's fun. Uh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> uh, the German fact of the day is 65% of the highways in Germany have no speed limit and are in fact called the Autobahn. It's, a, it's a, like a highway you have in America, but uh, no speed limit. You go as fast as you want. I literally didn't even hear you because I can't with the accent. It's so good. <laughs> like, I wasn't even focusing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I was focusing. Is it proven to have less or more accidents without a speed limit? Per billion kilometers driven is lower in Deutschland's Autobahn, uh, 2.7 fatalities than in most U.S. interstate highways. My accent went to crap. But so it's 2.7 fatalities versus 4.5 on U.S. regulated highways. So it's like drastically less. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Give me a compliment in the German accent. Or would it be less weird if give Jared a compliment in the German accent? J your jacket is very nice today. Uh, and your beard is always very maintained and kept. Yeah, it looks very, it looks very good. Um, and you have uh, stunning eyes, may I say. Uh, just very nice, a nice feature of yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Good Dang. job. German Do fact. Donkey Shane. 
Don't get your, oh, bitch, Sharon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything else. What's that? <laughs> um, wow, well, good job. That was a good fact. <laughs> yeah, good job. I like that. I like that. Oh, and uh, really quick, before we really get into everything, I want to remind you guys that there is an extended version of this show on the audio platform. There'll be an extra, you know, 10, 15, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I don't know. It depends on how much we talk. So if you want to check out the extended version, go over there. I'll put the link at the top of the description below. Okay, we are going to do a segment where we're going to give some advice, mainly Jared, because I feel like you have a lot of life experience more than us. A little uh, bit. Yeah, maybe. I asked on the podcast Instagram at Shane Dawson Podcast uh, if you guys could send in some voice memos asking for some life advice, career advice, love advice, whatever advice you want. Uh, and Jared is going to give you unfiltered, blunt honesty, and then we'll chime in. Let's do it. I don't have a theme song for this. So, so I'll start, we'll start small, easy, and then we'll work into it. Bluetooth That's always on. how I start. <laughs> small, <laughs> small. I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> really? Edit that shit out. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Listen, I'm it's, just kidding. It's relatable. It's relatable. <laughs> I think. I think you know what? We should start a fucking Facebook group for it. Oh, I've already thought about getting merch made that said "grower" on it. No. But then I was like, who would buy this? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm into it, dude. Oh, me too. Uh, More grower awareness. Is that also a cancer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and you're a grower? Oh my of course, god. We're growers. No, you're not. 100%. 100%. Oh my god. 100% a grower. No, you're not. <laughs> growers <laughs> unite. Gro- growers <laughs> united. <laughs> the growth. <laughs> the growth in this room. So all you growers out there, you what can't judge a grower. <laughs> you can't judge a grower by... <laughs> I am showing. Oh, what? The one not grower is laughing so hard at us right now. Well, okay. Here's the thing too, and it's annoying because he's the opposite of a grower, which. <laughs> okay. But it's still gross. But it's one of those things where he's like a just hangs like like this. He's a like, shower. But here's the thing. It's one of those things where like, and I've, for you. I've had to play a lot of mental tricks with myself to not feel weird about it. Yeah. But but it is one of those things where it's like, listen. I feel mm. I take a pride in my grow because I feel like it grows a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like, it's almost scary. It's like, Same. whoa, what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> what is that? It's amazing. Right? Whereas you, yours just gets hard, but it's kind of the same, you know, flop and then it's hard. It's not like, you know, it's not shocking. It's not like a it's science It's not shocking. I, I mean, it still grows. No, it's great. It's great. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it's that. It's not very theatrical. <laughs> it's no. not. I'll give you that. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so when you're on Grindr, were you ever with growers? And were you like, was I the first one you were with? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> that actually, I will kill myself <laughs> if we go there. Let's not do that. Never mind. You love me. So we're, I feel like most people would already have been hard too. What? Like before I see it, they're most yeah. likely oh my, getting oh, there. Are they just Please. in there beating their meat before <laughs> what you, you get there? Or what? You're like, oh. I'm so attractive. No, that you start hard kissing. before I even come. In the no, door. you start hooking up before you fucking put your dick in each other. I don't get hard in that process because all I'm thinking is, oh my god, I'm a grower. I'm a grower. They're so then grow. You're just thinking, oh. grow, damn it, grow, grow, damn it. I don't have that. I get hard like immediately. Leave. <laughs> Leave and don't say goodbye. Oh my God, the worst. Sorry, we'll get to the advice in a second. But the worst was there was a rumor that when you went from middle school to high school, that there was going to be locker rooms that you had to change and shower in. And like, it didn't happen. That didn't even exist. But everybody told us that, oh, you're get ready because well, you're going to have to go shower. What? You I had, had to do that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. So what did you do as a grower? It was hor- Well, I like avoided it at all costs and would act sick and would leave and like it was I, a whole. Well, they you could, to my I mean, there's too. towel maneuvers that you could do. You could just leave your towel Shut and up. put your boxers well, on. You're not a part of this. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to disclose who it was. Oh my God. But I've spoken with somebody because I had to do that in my high school too. I did it the what? first day. It was very much like, don't look at me. I ain't looking at you. And then I realized if you're a tennis reserve player, you don't even got to take a shower or change or nothing. You just got to play hacky sack with your friends and like get a credit for it. So I just was, I just did that for the remainder of my high school career. Whoa. Yeah. It was a life hack. Life hack guys. If you got a tennis uh, program at your school, check out the reserve. Program. <laughs> you got a growing small. <laughs> if you're a grower. Yeah. You don't want to show it. Life hack for all you growers out there. <laughs> <laughs> Join tennis. Yeah, Wait, so yeah. you had to show? 
I mean, I know. I think I got out of it pretty much every time. Like, I think I just found a way. I I refused. Wow. Like, it was my nightmare to do that. I also almost like was on the swim team, and then I'm like, I'm not wearing a speedo. Absolutely, I can't do it. It's my nightmare. So I never did that. I stopped myself doing a lot of okay. things. Okay. My worth. This is actually my most embarrassing moment, and I still think about this every day. <laughs> like actually every day and this kid I don't even remember his name and he wasn't even a hater like he was like a nice kid in my class in my PE class but I think he was just so shocked that he had to say something so I was wearing you know PE shorts and they were really tight because I was fucking huge so I had on you know the biggest size they had and they were fucking spandex and my I have big <laughs> I balls <laughs> You're not supposed to be laughing. You're supposed to be like, stop, don't tell this story. You don't Well, I don't know the story, so <laughs> it's, bad. it's like the it's visual bad. you're painting it's is something. Really bad. Okay, so we're lined up outside and I'm wearing, you know, uh, before PE class and I'm wearing my tight ass shorts and I have big balls. And then when it's hot outside, my balls are really big. <laughs> So which, which, by the way, not a brag because like when you're a grower and you have big balls, it's like scary. <laughs> when you're all eggs, no sausage <laughs> on your McMuffin, you know, I'm with you. Exactly. So, okay. My big balls are really hot and they're big. Right. And my shorts are really tight. Yeah, a so, lot of people excited right now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally who? I don't, if there's a big balls grower community, like, hi, hit me up. Um, you, right. You love me. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's a look on his face right now I No I had my mouth full of fucking a drink <laughs> Okay, But I just think like Most of the people that listen are women right <laughs> Well they have men in their lives though That probably relate to this right? Okay, And they can go like inspect and see what's just, going yeah. on there I'm, I'm a grower but I'm sorry I don't relate to the, this scenario Oh you because you don't have big balls Well I t- that's p- p- more proportionate Continue Good for you okay. <laughs> Your balls grow? No I'm <laughs> Yes Cool um, Okay, so my big balls, there's a big ball, like two ball hump shape, right, on my short shorts. Loose knuckles. And I'm, once again, you know, three, four hundred pounds. I got this. So I'm just giving you the visual. So now I have these big, very obvious balls <laughs> and with no dick. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> saying, it's too much. Okay, sorry. I think you telling this story might be become your second most embarrassing moment. But keep going. Oh my god! All right. Yeah. <laughs> this makes the cut. Okay, okay so. All right, back. Okay. No dick. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the kid in front of me. You should just get hard. Right now. (laughs) Stop touching yourself. (laughs) Trying to get yourself riled up. (laughs) If you ever have to show it off, just make sure you're hard. Oh my god. A little tickle, tickle. Okay. So the kid in front of me. So we're supposed to sit down now, right? (laughs) And my shorts are so tight that because these were like loner shorts because I forgot mine. Whatever, it's a whole thing. So you know, everybody's sitting down. And I'm like, oh, how do I sit down? The kid in front of me, he sits down first. And I'm like trying to figure out how I'm going to sit down in these tight ass shorts. And he's down and he turns around. So his head is facing my crotch, right? He turns around and he goes, <laughs> and not kidding. I don't know why he did this. We were probably 12, 13. So like, I'm not trying to say he assaulted me, but he definitely, he took his finger and he looks and then he goes, pokes. Him. He goes, where's your dick? And he just pokes. <laughs> He just poked uh. my, <laughs> like, past my balls and poked above my balls. And he just goes, where's your dick? And then he pokes. And, like, and then he, everybody starts looking. And then two boys next to him are just like, where is it? Where is it? And now they're all pointing at it. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, yeah. And then the PE teacher came in and I wanted to die. So that literally, literally every day. When I put on my clothes, I put on my tight underwear, I look down and I just hear, where's your dick? Where's your dick? Because all I see is two big balls. And i that's another reason I got scared that I got casual sex is scary because like, now we're getting to the root of it. Casual sex is scary because I just kept thinking, what if the person says, where's your dick? Well, you just get hard. Like you would make sure you're kissing before the... Oh, and the worst was like the my first, you know, relationship. Right after sex, I would like run away or hide or do something and she finally was like why do you do that and i'm like um um well because you know so i have a blanket covering my like i just came so now my dick is shriveling up and really fast it's weird because i stay hard for a long time okay 
<laughs> fucking showers. <laughs> fucking. They're showing. Oh, God. <laughs> Show yourself out. Show on. <laughs> So my dick is showing up. It's a downfall. And she's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I have the blanket covering it. I'm like, nothing, nothing. She's like, why do you do that? Why do you hide your dick? What is going on? And then she just pulls the blanket away. And my shriveled up sticky dick is like Shane, right there. What and are I- you doing? Like- <laughs> 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 Pretty violent nothing. to the rescue. <laughs> I'm like, you really is this what you want out there? <laughs> I just yeah. feel so comfortable with you guys. Okay, well, like I've never talked about this before. I, yeah, I know. It, it, it seems very liberating. <laughs> <laughs> but, Go ahead, keep going. But, okay, but here's the, the like, point there used of to be some mystery but, when you said like I'm a grower. Here's the point of my story. <laughs> I really opened the floodgates on this one. <laughs> here's Shit. the point of my story. Because this was really early on, and like you know, I. I was, you know, whatever. Early on and you're growing. In my, yeah, in my relationship. Free and growth. <laughs> and she, and, and it happened. It was my worst nightmare. Like my worst nightmare was like for, for to be in that situation. And like, I don't know. Cause whatever. Cause yeah, it was a thing where I'm like, I have to get hard before I do anything. So she had never seen my grow ever. It always was hard right away okay. type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm comfortable with you. So you see my grow, but, um, I'll show you guys my growth. <laughs> no. Oh my God, grow bros. <laughs> um, okay. And then she goes, what? That, that's what a lot of guys look like when they're whatever. And I was just like, oh. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I thought everybody was like you. Like, I thought everybody had, you know, hang- hangies. Hangies? <laughs> and honestly, I think growers is kind of a big part of the of the world. Also, I think a lot of people, like, when you hear grower, like, you assume, like, the person has a tiny penis. But that's not no. the case. Like, when I'm growing, I'm fine. You know what no. I mean? Like, yes, I'm sure, totally I'm sure comfortable, all... feel good yeah. about it. It's it's just the pre yes. Which is like, you know, it. and I know it's gross to talk about this, but it really is. It, it can be really humiliating. And I do think about sometimes. Like okay, when we have a kid, if we have a boy, and we use my sperm, like if he's a grower, I don't know how I'm gonna like. If he's a grower, you got to be a shower, and show him how to survive with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but 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 this is the thing. How about this? Uh, I, I wasn't planning on changing the world today. You know, <laughs> I didn't put this jacket on and think <laughs> superhero for humanity. That wasn't on, on the agenda. Mm-hmm. But why don't we really get on the ballot for education in a health class? Yeah. Make a grower like A and B penises. Mm-hmm. So cause, yeah, cause actually, they don't show yes. a grower. Pe- they don't show grower penis. Oh, yeah. And especially I feel like the first time a lot of us when we're younger are exposed to other penises are in like porno and shit. Mm -hmm. Ain't no growers in porn. No. We need more grower representation in porno if if we're going to keep doing that. Uh But I think health classes should say, hey, yeah, these are examples of penises. Yes. Here's a grower. Here's a, what's that? Yes. Oh, well, look at it when it's hard. <laughs> you know? I don't know about that. You know? <laughs> I don't know about that part. But yeah, yeah. It's, it got weird kind of quick. I, I think no, but it'd I have to be a peer-to-peer no. conversation. But yeah. But you're right, because the health class, the pictures of penises. It would normalize it. Normalize growers. Oh, I literally would look at, because, you know, in health class, it has like, you know, age five, age 10, age 15, age 30, like penis, like art illustrations. And I'd be like, Oh my God, I'm not even at five yet. <laughs> uh, I'm like, even, I ain't even at five yet. How, what am I going to do? I'm 15. Like, that was so scary. But if the teacher would have been like, and some guys, you know, are growers, and that's why, and, and maybe throw in a little, like, and, you know, like, Sam the teacher, if it was like, <laughs> yeah, and, you know, my husband's a grower and big, big, you know? And then as a student, I'm sitting there like, yeah. <laughs> I can barely walk today, you know? <laughs> but, but. <laughs> And you know, I will say, like, uh, not you know, not to get too heavy into it, and still, but I also had one testicle that hadn't descended when I was younger. I had to get like they almost did surgery on me. Whoa! But I was told I had one. It's uh, getting kind of personal, dude. <laughs> but I had one testicle that was ascended. And uh, so I thought, is like the penis the same situation? Like, is my, <laughs> you know, like at, at some point, it's just like, bloop. It just comes, Whoa. like, just like my nut came down. <laughs> I, I, I didn't do right. But then all of a sudden I realized, oh, this is a grower, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad that we did that. Um, that was a lot of penis stuff. <laughs> Can was. you Google what percentage of the population are growers? Yes. Oh, wait, now I'm scared. 
Dude, G U man, Grover's unite, dude. Yes. <laughs> dude, we... Oh my god, grow up. We, we could <laughs> Dang. Grow... Oh, oh what? my god. Look at you. No. <laughs> what? You have according to a men's health survey, seventy nine percent of men are growers. Shut up. While, the market is huge. 20... We're gonna break the fucking internet with this <laughs> uh, podcast, guys. Title, we're growers and proud of it. Yes, but while 21% are showers, and so, like, good for huh. you. I'm, You're special. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> I w- but I, I'm, I wonder what classifies a grower, because, like, no, Us. All, most show. I wonder, but I guess it would have to mean that, right? Maybe it's like too. if your penis over quadruples in size, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Like, right. what is the metric? But we don't have to get into that. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. Um... All right. Well, uh, we didn't get to any advice. We'll do that in a second. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to go <laughs> grow. <laughs> I'm going to go grow real fast. And um, when we come back, we're going to get into some advice with Jared. <laughs> All right. Let's cut. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? What, what happened that made us laugh so hard? I don't remember. But you was, told you your story. Your... <laughs> Going in graphic detail about the size of your dick when it's not grown. You were like shriveled, covered in like. <laughs> Can't wait to see the DMs this week. <laughs> I can't believe we talked about our penises like that. <laughs> this is really something. <laughs> we just want to let you guys know this is a purely satirical show. Nothing serious. <laughs> I have a huge wiener. <laughs> Uh-huh. I feel like the, I have a huge wiener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donald Trump is a grower for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, Stormy Daniels wrote a whole book about it. Really? She said it looked like a mushroom character from uh, Martin Brothers. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. Yeah. That's my nightmare. Oh, and my then, God. Jared. Yes. So we have, you know, your segment, Cheap Tricks with Jared. Cheap Tricks. We got it. Um, Now... Do you have any cheap tricks today for us? I don't necessarily have a banger, okay. I would say. So I'm going to come next week w- with a killer one. The reason I ask is because I might have a couple songs for uh, cheap tricks. And we have to pick the one we like the most. I can't wait. There's one that is literally, I've been singing it all week. Like, I, it's a radio hit. <laughs> like, do you, should we start there? Should no, we st- save it. Okay. Well, no, now I feel bad. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's play the other one. Okay, play the radio no, hit. No, okay. I- yeah, I'm gonna. They're play. all special in their own right. In their you own know? right. Some, yeah, not not all them. good music is radio friendly. Agreed. Um, okay, here we go. Cheap tricks with Jared. He's got a pocket of change. He makes a lot of sense. When the price goes up, he'll get it for less. It's cheap tricks oh, yeah. with Jared. That was so good. Are you Dude, kidding me? Dude, is that me? the fucking <laughs> cheetah girl right <laughs> there? <laughs> I felt like I, I could see four girls all from different ethnicities yes. dancing yes. together. Yes. You know, there's one that's like the, the star, but they're all equally fucking great. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? So wait, you're telling me uh-huh. that's just an appetizer? <laughs> <laughs> like you consider another one a I, hit I beyond think he that? hit us with the hit. I think that's a, I, well, I don't want to be. Or is that the hit? He I'm hit us gonna, with the hit. That was. Let uh, us decide. Let's decide. How about that? How about that? Here's what I will say. Okay, okay. Okay, we'll do the next one. Ready? Okay. I gotta close my eyes. I gotta get into this. Okay. Okay. Now Jared, he got cheap tricks. Cheap tricks. And he always doing cheap shit. Cheap shit. If you trying to budget, this the remix. Remix. And no, he ain't budget, never he switch. Broke motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, mixed bag. I loved it. it. Mi- yeah. uh, well Okay. Because it wasn't about you. I feel like that was more of a diss track. Uh, <laughs> calling me like, he's a cheat motherfucker. <laughs> Jerry, you broke motherfucker. <laughs> so like, to me, I'm into it, you know? I'm not offended or nothing like that because the whole vibe is being frugal. But that didn't feel like a team move to me. That felt like a like a diss, you know? Wait, now I need to hear it again. Yeah, yeah. So let's, let's, with that let's listen it back through the lens of... Uh, they're talking shit about me. Sonically, though, it was good. 
He got cheap tricks. He calls me a bitch right and away. He always doing cheap shit. Cheap shit. <laughs> if you trying to budget, this the remix. And no, he ain't budget. Never he switch. Broke motherfucker. <laughs> okay. So it starts Jared, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like he calls me a bitch and then he said I'm doing cheap shit. What uh, what I'm I will say though here's what I will say though. He asked me, he said, Am I allowed to cuss? Like and I was like, Oh my god, throw anything you want in there, make it hard. So he gave me. I felt asked like for. him saying yeah. "broke motherfucker" at the end was, was for the like everyone that's gonna try the yes. cheap trick. The MC in me though is having a hard time not wanting to to clap back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god! Wait, wait. you so, should. Do we have a name for this gentleman? Because he knows my name, so it's only fair I know his name. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me because pull him up. Because I'm getting riled up. Are you about to? Freestyle? I don't think it was this as personal so, as you I took it. I think Jared's about to freestyle rap. I want to uh, see. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be a freestyle necessarily. Okay, ready? His name. His name is Lumi. Lumi. Lumi Lifestyle. Do you need okay. to see a picture of him so you can like see? It's only fair. He's seen me. Outside of Vince Noble. Okay. okay I like it though. It's hard to say I don't like the music. I though. think that's him. He could probably beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> Lumi, that was great, dude. Shout out to you. You know. I liked it. Uh -huh. We might use it. Uh -huh. you know? no, I think... But I'm coming for you verbally. Okay, do we want... Well, I have more. I didn't save all of them because some of them were really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it real. But okay, okay, let me see. I think I just got one that I haven't heard yet. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Here's another boop, cheap boop, trick. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Premier. 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 Okay, here okay. we go. Okay, it's a banger. Hey. Cheap tricks with Jared, he got it He's spinning short like hobbits Stay cheap, no need for often Your girl need gas, she walking Run it up, can't stop it, drop it Now we speaking of funds Jared, yeah, he got it It's only deposits I'm speaking of profit He getting it done Yeah Wait you know, Real talk, real talk Whoa. I don't even need a clap back at Lumi because whoever that is just showed him how to really do it. To be whoa, oh, hey, I, I let I let my gunners clap back. You know what I'm no. saying? <laughs> but now he dissed your that? girl. You're fine with it. Lumi dissing you, but this guy's dissing your girl. <laughs> Who's my girl? Well, he did say if you need gas, your girl walking. Your girl gotta walk. Yeah, but that was that was that was just a bar. You know what I mean? I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't feel like the laser beam on me for that one. I just felt like he was sliding a bar in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have right. one more. And this one I actually got as kind of a joke because uh, it's the guy who made the Peruvian song that we all um, loved. <laughs> <laughs> the Peruvian icon Chris is back, giving us Peruvian. Chris is gonna give us Peruvian facts. <laughs> what? Who I'm, these? I'm never about hating on anybody. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. Standout moment uh -huh. for me in the last one. Which I was scared to even message him because I didn't know if he saw it. And I was like, hey, I have another song I want from you. Like, we loved your last one. <laughs> Luckily, he was just like, thank you. I love making it. I'm like, okay, he hasn't seen it yet. Um, <laughs> Perfect. We definitely didn't laugh at it. Uh, so he made one, and I got to say, it's kind of good. I was not expecting this. Okay, ready? Okay. Cheap tricks with Jared. Cheap tricks with Jared. He's the most traditional <laughs> jingleist I feel that we have. You know, that was a jingle right there. It was fun. But I love where this guy's going. I mean, he's gonna, Jared's going to teach you how to beat the system. That's iconic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's I, really I, good. I, I mean, my dude went deep on it, and I like that. <laughs> I do actually remember I have one more rap that we could end this with. I forgot. And I had they're a, all raps, and I like that. I had a female rap. Hold on. That's the best. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's a build up. Wait a minute, hold on. I, I like the double, I like the multi-syllabical rhymes that she was doing. That was cool. Okay. You know, the whole iPad, I like that. Life hacks. That showed some technical <laughs> prowess. Uh -huh. I enjoyed that. I liked, I guess, 
I'm confused. So she said, show me how to get an iPad for $20 and then get the $20 right back. That's genius. I mean, <laughs> can, yeah, can you give us a iPad? That is incredible. You've got something to live up to. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Those were all so great. Thank you, yeah. uh, Fiverr. Uh, people i mean should fiber sponsor your podcast yes literally yes oh my god um okay i don't know if this is relatable to anybody out there actually i do know because it is because i feel like a lot of us struggle with it shopping Mm. shopping for clothes trying to figure out something that you feel comfortable and confident in is a nightmare and i went shopping and it was a nightmare and i had a couple breakdowns a lot of stores don't carry double xl which is a problem so I shop online and then the clothes come and then I try them on and I don't fit. And then I'm like, how am I supposed to do this? Ryland pretends that I look good in everything. I know he's <laughs> lying. So like, it's hard to know what you look good in and feel good in something. What What are your guys' experiences with clothing shopping? You know, like, I don't think I feel more like a piece of shit than <laughs> how I feel after I've eaten a large meal. <laughs> And then went shopping for clothes. Oh, <laughs> the worst. It's the fucking worst. You know, and then, like, just the, the bonus is if I'm lucky enough to get into a booth that has surrounding mirrors all around me. Oh. Because you don't always see certain angles of yourself. Mm-hmm. So you only oh. feel bad about maybe the front and the sides. <laughs> but when you're able to feel bad about the back angle, the diagonal angle, it adds a whole new layer. So typically what happens is about 30 seconds into me trying on clothes, I'm like sweating and nothing's fit and it ain't feeling good. And I just, I'm out. So it's the you know? same thing with you brothers. The second you guys start sweating, it's over. Yeah, yes. I'm starting to sweat right now. Oh. And that's a problem. I know, like I try to be considerate of this, but it is a problem because then once you start sweating, you don't, you don't no, enjoy something. I have certain things that like on my checklist of happiness, right? <laughs> One of them is I can't be sweating. If I start sweating, it's fucking over. And I'm starting to sweat right now. <laughs> so I'm getting close. So if I'm sweating, it's fucking over. Um, if if my butt feels weird, I don't want to get gross. My butt feels weird. <laughs> he knows what? what I'm talking about. No, I, my butt feels weird sometimes. <laughs> what too. are you guys what? talking about? I had like itchy ass. No, like you get, if your butt, if you start sweating and then it's you're. It's called swamp butt. <laughs> Yeah, swamp ass, really. Yeah. So if I you mean, start sweating in your our, ass crack. Our dad actually invented something for it. No, he didn't. It's did. called oh the, the TOC, the tissue of cleanliness, which is you put it in between your butt cheeks <laughs> to uh, kind of counteract this, this swamp butt. Yeah, and I tried that life hack in high school at one point, and then it fell out. Oh. Ooh, what, what color was it? <laughs> No, not good. <laughs> not Yuck. good. Not good. But you know what? There's nothing more gratifying than when you have your swamp ass tissue and you take it out and it's white. Wait, so you just yeah, have tissue good. between your cheeks? Uh, Is this like a time? man pun, you know, for your butt? <laughs> it's not something you guys a are... A man pun? <laughs> yeah, for your butt. It's like a butt man pun. Well, that's an invention. But you're not... Tra- okay. Anyways, wait, I feel like we just grossed everybody out that's watching this. Yeah, so far, it's been gross the whole way. <laughs> Pretty gross. You know, it, it's been... <laughs> well, we can go back oh, to our shopping know? problems. Yeah, I actually wanted to say something about shopping, oh, if that's okay. Yes, uh, get us off of this. Yes, we, please. We, we started talking about, like the other day, I think, mm-hmm. about my boyfriend is a bigger guy, the biggest guy I've been with. Now, how many exes are Stop bragging, about? stop he, bragging. It's not- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah. mean- no, but he's, he's 4X, and, and I've never been with someone that was a 4X, and I've never realized how difficult it is for someone that of a bigger size to, to shop, to find mm-hmm. clothes. Because like we were going to go uh, somewhere together sort of last minute, and I, we just wanted to find a polo shirt, and it was impossible. So we went to like a million different places, and only one of them even had uh, larger size clothes. <laughs> uh, four x but <laughs> <laughs> no mm. but um so only one of them even had any options and it was burlington co-factory and or which is just burlington now by the way no co-factory anyways <laughs> but um that. so it was like was it, it ever burlington code factory <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but it was like <laughs> in the corner tucked away with like four options and not taken care of the rest of the store was taken care of but not that section like no one gave a crap and like it was it felt very shameful and shitty Aww. and like and we went around looking everywhere and like jc benny i like looked online they had options and store did not macy's online had options and store did not and i'm like what why is it impossible to find a shirt this is mm. insane like it actually made me really upset i've never had to deal with that i'm like 
And I don't know, I got really upset about it. And I was like, this is bullshit. Like, no one who, like, no bigger person should have to deal with this. Like, you shouldn't, it shouldn't be impossible to find a shirt. Why yeah. is this? I don't know. I got really annoyed about it. It is impossible. I mean, I'm a 2X and it is hard to find 2X at the store. I don't know why. Like, it's crazy. I don't know. And yet, when I was, I think I got up to, not to outshine your big boyfriend, <laughs> but I think I got up to 5X at one point. Did you? I did. <laughs> and oh impossible like impossible to find clothes but why like i feel like in america like we have a lot of heavy set people in america i have a theory why is this such an issue so i have a theory in it, and this is dark but i'm just gonna keep it real big people me included don't like going shopping don't like going clothes mm -hmm. shopping because it's humiliating it's hard it's embarrassing you see all the pictures on the walls of all these like thin people wearing these clothes and you're like i'm never gonna look like that i gotta go to the bed sheets like it just gets dark <laughs> it gets dark life hack though it doesn't feel like that if you do all your clothes shopping at costco <laughs> <laughs> they yes! I just realized they make up to whatever x you know they're whatever about everybody x. elastic shorts because that's it's really hard to find a really solid pair of elastic shorts yeah. so uh but yeah shout out to costco got me looking yes. like a boss though and there's food samples Mm. Oh, yeah, they're feeding you. <laughs> Only downfall. It's like if you told someone, oh, yeah, I went to this clothing store the other day. They were bringing me samples of nice food and all these things. Like, oh, wow, where was that? They'd be shocked if you said Costco. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's that not, sounded it, like a Gucci store It's experience. like, oh, where was that, Rodeo? It's like, <laughs> it's like, no, you know, off the freeway, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my theory is that I think um, – these stores know that, that big people like us don't like to go shopping, so they just put it all online. Like, I bet all those stores have X's online. Well, and, it's and then in real life, they're like, eh, they're not gonna come in. Again, I'm so upset. <laughs> Question, do we wear shirts when we go swimming? I'm gonna start with me. <laughs> Uh, yes, if there's a bunch of people around, I will wear a shirt in the pool. If it's just me and you, I won't. Jared? So if I'm going to the beach, for show, sure. I'm wearing a shirt. Yep. Mm. One because uh, I'm embarrassed. Yes. Two because the sun. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to get overly sunburnt. It's too much sunscreen on my whole body. But it doesn't even matter because of the first one. You know, it, it trumps the second one, anyways. <laughs> um, I always swim with my shirt off, but I hate my body, which is interesting. Like when I have my shirt off, I'm like extra sucking in and extra like sitting in certain ways and extra mm. like I'm self conscious about it the whole time, but. But yeah. Listen, my goal for uh, before I die is to go to the beach or go into a, or go into a public area, a water park maybe, and take my shirt off. Whatever my body looks like, I don't know if I'll ever get ripped or anything. But like, I, I need to do that once, or else I'm gonna die sad. You're sad. Well, I I've mean, never been able to go to the beach and just be a normal person. I always have the shirt on, and then I'm like self conscious, and I don't know why. Even when I was like at my skinniest, I was too afraid to take my shirt off, and I don't know why. Would you feel any more comfortable if you were at, like, a bear event and it was, like, all big dudes? Hey, Ryland, can I go to a bear event? No, I mean, the, <laughs> take my shirt off. Those are things when it's, like, all big dudes. <laughs> and I think other big dudes feel more comfortable. To add on to your note, mm -hmm. I remember when I got my driver's license, mm -hmm. my main goal was I just want to wear a tank top, you know? I see. It's tough, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel like from the side, I have side boob, mm -hmm. you know? So... <laughs> But yeah, so I would say my uh, short-term goal, because I'm with you, I want to go to the beach with my shirt off, Aww. you know, but my short-term goal is a tank top. That's scarier to me. Really? Oh, yeah. But isn't it strange yeah. that we're all in a relationship with someone who thinks we're like the most attractive thing in the world? Uh, oh, Shane. I think that's how it works, though, you know? <laughs> Ryland does. Oh, my god. Ryland does. I can tell how he looks at you. I mean, we have a very... This is weird to say, but we have a very good sex life, and I don't think that would happen if I, I wasn't attracted to you. Really? Yes, You don't of think course. my arms are weird? No, I don't think What? Are, no, and especially the things that you like least about yourself are things that I think are great on you. Like your legs and your chest, you're always like, I have, like, pork chops is what you call them. My but legs. I think your legs... <laughs> My pork chops. <laughs> no, I <clears throat> I think when you're out there dating, if you're looking for someone, maybe say yes, swipe yes on someone that maybe isn't necessarily your type because you never know. You might find a bigger connection. I think it's also important to note mm -hmm. that when we say something like my type, what are we exactly referring to? Solely physical attributes, mm -hmm. you know, and just the physical appearance. And oftentimes, these aren't the things we talk about when we speak about love and what we love about each other. Yes, it's a factor, but I mean, 
it's hard to say, oh, that guy's not my type. It's like, well, that's just one variable of a human being. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like every guy that was your type had all the other attributes that you wanted, you know? So Arguably kinda... none of. Because if you're sleeping with well, somebody based on a photo on Grindr, you're just looking to have sex. And it's like they're, they were so... arguably the worst people. I don't know if we yeah. should get into this, but I kind of want to get into it. The thought of you being with somebody else makes me want to throw up. But like, I just can't imagine... I mean, it was my you early 20s, like 20 and 21, 22. Meeting up with strangers and having sex with them? Yeah, because like, I didn't want to date anyone, but, but I you, still wanted to like... Can you take us through the process of like, what does that even mean? Like you get on the app. Well, I think I got addicted to Grinder for a while and take like Whoa. sex. I mean, no, for real. I think, <laughs> did you ever deep. do Grinder, Chris? I've never been uh, on a dating app. I, like I'm not someone who's ever been interested in a hookup. I've never like really just hooked up with anyone. I've been with very few people in my life. I'm paranoid of STDs is a whole other thing. Oh. But uh, but like I don't know. I'm very like I'm like a hopeless romantic. I need to like feel in love and like feel things and care for the person before I can't just like have sex with anybody. My penis is linked to my heart and it won't work if it's not like feeling something. That put up that on a coffee cup <laughs> and Shane will buy it. My yeah, penis yeah. is linked to my heart. Yeah, you have to give my my heart a boner first. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just curious. Curious. Like, take me through the process. This was how many years ago? When I was 20. Because I wasn't looking for someone to date. Okay, I don't need the fluff. Like, what was your <laughs> profile picture? What were you putting out there? What was your name? Depends. Well, Grindr's different. Grindr is like mm, like 1% of the population on Grindr is looking for a relationship. Uh -huh. It's in Living in Hollywood, it's a never-ending scroll of pictures, and you log on to Grindr, and it's like... Brruh! And you have all these messages of people that potentially want to sleep with you. And people are very to the point. They're like height, top, bottom, verse. Like they're very like wow. to the point. And then it's like scheduling a meetup. You don't FaceTime them or anything to make sure they're not... No, like, I mean, you could message back and forth for like a day if you really wanted to fill it out and try to much. make sure that they're not going to kill you. So then you go to their house. Yeah, and you never know what you're walking into. It's crazy. That is so scary. It's crazy, yeah. but it like makes you feel something. That's what was sure. like the weirdest thing you ever walked into? Oh, lots of different walks of life. That's for sure. Like it was... I, what does that mean? Just like so, like DJ, like the, like so many different DJs? career paths. Like <laughs> you people like DJ music. I'm guessing there's a lot of DJs on Grinder. <laughs> I'm thinking that 80% DJs, you know. I mean, no offense to DJs, but you fucked a DJ. Yeah. The dick Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of you fucking someone makes me want to die, but I want to know more for some reason. I, I mean, like this feels too. like a lifetime right. ago. It... So then, what do you? Okay, but here's my question: because I don't understand casual sex, right? So I'm trying to figure this out. You so, kind of just get down to business. So, okay, yeah, that's what I'm asking. So, okay, you knock on my door. Bing, bing. A lot of times, you'll like open the door, and then you'll kind of just like. Say hi, hug. I am gonna kissing. barf. This it's is like, so weird. And every experience is so awkward and weird, and that's what makes it like thrilling and crazy because like you don't know what you, like it's just so crazy, and that's I think the fun of it. <laughs> okay, so now okay, so you're doing it. So now you're like, okay, I'm gonna fuck the DJ. You fuck the DJ, then what? You just leave. Do you review them? Do you give them like five stars? <laughs> like, is there some sort of a star rating system on Grindr? There should be. There should be. You want to know the most sad moment of it? Okay. So I'm like in my bed scrolling Grinder, 22 years old, probably 21. And we like make plans to meet up. And I'm like, okay, I'm leaving. And then he didn't reply. And then when I was like, okay, I'm outside because I walked because it was close. He like wasn't replying. So I wait like seven minutes because I'm like, I don't know, maybe he's showering or something. He has another guy arriving and <gasps> he was trying to ghost me because he found somebody he wanted <gasps> to sleep with more than me. Oh. Most awkward moment of my life because then he comes out to meet the other guy, but <gasps> I'm still there there and then we had like this weird three-way encounter and then he was like well i guess you could come in with us oh and i was God. like no man i'm not i'm not that desperate i'm good was so, the other guy more attractive than you do you think uh i don't know i guess it was just could, somebody more his type for the sake of the story can you say that yeah <laughs> okay because that makes me feel so good it was awful <laughs> but was, i love you so much it was but, awful like, in an awful world where we broke up I wouldn't go back to that life ever. I it was awful. I mean, it was fun. Are you for thinking a while. about us breaking up? No, I said I'm just saying like it's not something I would choose in my 30s in a world where we even broke but up. But like, how do I compare to like you know all of the rest? Oh, I mean, you're uncomparable to all of it oh. because I actually love you. Oh. See, he did it. What? That's what I mean. <laughs> you should have stopped before you said because I love you. 
Wait, well, that's loves you. but Wait, none of them. I wasn't. I didn't even get to know any of them. So like, and I and I didn't. If it was mind blowing, you I heard would, it, right? Uh oh, here we go again. Life is short and bright and life is short. Um, I'm just kidding. I love you so much. You're perfect. Don't ever change. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little break, and when we come back, we have conspiracy theories and so much more. And we're gonna go have sex on Grinder. See you soon. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, starting with just a small conversation. Okay. So, for today's conspiracy corner, I have some Mandela effects that nice. people sent in. Okay, what do you guys want to start with? Mandela effects or food conspiracy theories? Because I have both prepared. My stomach's telling me I want to do food conspiracies <laughs> uh-huh. because I'm slightly hungry. Okay. But my heart's telling me let's start with some Mandela effects. Okay, yeah. Let's end with dessert. You know? <laughs> Agreed. Let's okay, do good. it. Okay, so I uh, asked you guys last time to send your best Mandela effects to try to shake Jared's brain. And I think I got some uh, pretty good ones. Like some of these I had never heard of before, and I was like angry. So, but, but let's see. Let's okay. see some of these Mandela effects. Okay, so I'm going to airplay these to the TV. I have them on my phone. And I want your guys' genuine reactions to these Mandela effects. Don't lie. This first one is definitely a popular one that I've seen before, but I still get angry about it. Febreze, which one is correct? And if you're an audio listener, check out the video or just Google pictures of Febreze. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the t- the th- one, two, three, four E's. The one on the right? Yeah, yeah. So, so what it is is, yes, the extra E. Because it's E. Yeah, that's the one. I believe that's it. I believe Chris? it's Febreze. I, I also think it's you that. You think it's the one on the right? You're all wrong. It's the one on the left. No way. It's one E, baby. Is it? Right? Okay, That's cr- insane. It ah. makes me so angry. I want to throw something. It's Fabrese on the left. <laughs> yes, Fabrese. <laughs> that does raise a good point. Is it supposed to be called Fabrese or is it like Fabrese? Is that just what we want to call it? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, but yeah. I, I, the, it irritates me on the level because that's not how you spell breeze. Yes. You spell breeze with two E's. So then what's your So you would, would you say that this Mandela effect shook you? No. <laughs> what? Yeah, I Why? would say that it did. Yeah. No. Just, well, no. I got it wrong. But again, I've never even bought in Febreze myself. So, but yeah, I would say that this one. How about this? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. You got me. Oh my uh, god. That's big. That's crazy. You got me. I, but but do I think that it's changed throughout time? I don't know. But yes, that's. It looks like it should be number two to me, and it's number one. I, I shot three so, internet commercials for 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 Breeze and got it wrong. So that's a good one. Wow. Whoa, that's actually insane. Um. Okay, this one also pisses me off. This is very specific. I can't believe I had never heard about this one. Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Yeah. Which is the correct picture of Shaggy? What's the oh the Adam's apple? Oh, I feel like I don't. I feel like an Adam's apple is more kooky, so I feel right. like that would be it. Mm-hmm. I think it's the left one. Yeah, it's the one with the Adam's apple, right? Like literally, like sh- Shaggy, like Scooby, um, like literally. I remember very specifically, but guess what? No, he never had an Adam's apple. How? Wow. It doesn't make sense to me. He always had an Adam's apple in my head. But you know what? In that sense, yeah, you fooled me. I thought he had an Adam's apple this whole time. Um, okay, this one also pisses me off. Which is correct? Is it Kraft stovetop or Stouffer's stovetop? Stouffer's. Stouffer's stovetop. Stouffer's. Right? Yeah, Stouffer's. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Kraft. You're doing that because you know it's... No, because I, I know that Stouffer's, it sounds like it makes sense because it's almost like it's named Stouffer's. I'm gonna go Kraft. Well, it is technically Kraft. But I cannot tell you the amount of times I've heard Stouffer Stovetop in my life on TV shows, in movies. Stouffer Stovetop. Like, that's a thing. It is a brand, I think. Stouffer's is a brand, yeah. But it's not not Stouffer Stovetop. Stouffer's doesn't make Stovetop. What? Um, I'm only bringing this up because you were shook by this earlier when I brought it up. (laughs) But the song Barbie Girl. (laughs) I'm a Barbie Barbie girl. girl. In, uh, now I don't remember. I did do this wrong in real time, but now I don't remember which is wrong. So the way that most people sing it. Well, let's let them do it. Oh, okay. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Wrong. It's I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Which is nuts. Doesn't make sense. Is it? 
It is. Make it make sense. It Google doesn't. it. Google in lyrics. The Barbie world. I would never say, I'm a human boy in the human world. No. Yeah, but, but let's not like act like this song has to live up to all logic. You know, it's about <laughs> being a... Okay, get excited, <laughs> Rylan, because I have a couple Britney Spears Mandela effects. Okay. Oh, shit. Now, these ones, they're kind of dumb, but I'm not going to lie. They did freak me out a little bit when I saw the evidence. <laughs> Look at... <laughs> All of them are pretty dumb. <laughs> These ones, kind of dumb. <laughs> okay. Okay. Britney Spears. When you think about the iconic Britney Spears outfit, pose, everything, you see this picture, right? I'm showing a fan. This is a girl in the red jumpsuit with that head microphone thing that, oh my God, Chris is wearing right now. Like, yeah. That's the Britney Spears <laughs> vibe. I mean, here's another picture of a girl doing it. You have Lizzie McGuire episodes. She recreated it. You even had a doll that had that headset on it. But what if I told you that Britney Spears in her Oops, I Did It Again music video was not wearing a headset, had never worn a headset, and she's never worn that red jumpsuit with a headset. She's never even at a VMA performance or something? No. Really? So where did this come from? And why does the merchandise and all the parodies and all the costumes have that red jumpsuit with headset? I guess because it makes it more of a pop star. No, it's a Mandela effect, right? <laughs> <laughs> she wore the headset. I know she wore the headset because I remember her touching it and doing that. Oh, oh. Did you go back and watch the video for yourself? Yeah, she's, she's not wearing it. Now. Really? No. That is kind is of mind Is she wearing a headset in Toxic by chance? No. That's pretty weird. Right. That's really weird. It's Let me confusing. do some Googling for myself. I mean, she it does look like she's touching a microphone in that picture, though. Maybe someone just saw that and mistaked it for she has a headset on. I think it changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so people think Mandela effects are things that are actually have changed since they originated. Welcome to the party, <laughs> dude. I thought we were all <laughs> under the. Well, well, I thought we were all under the pretense it's just people fucking with people on the internet. <laughs> no, Mandela effect is like well, the the phrase came because. People mm -hmm. thought, there was a, a moment in time where people thought that Nelson Mandela had died before he actually did die. So that's why it's called the Mandela effect. Because people were like, I swear he died, you know, back right. in the 90s. Right, I just, it's come so far, it's like seems so unrealistic that I just feel like it's fuckery. <laughs> okay, this one just pissed me off because I specifically remember uh, Pixie Sticks being spelled P-I-X-I-E. And it's always been P-I-X-Y. That looks wrong to me. I don't believe it. That's a scam. Fuck off. <laughs> like that is not how I remember it. I really clearly remember IE. Me too. What? I used to have these a lot, so like yes. in my brain. Wow. Me too. Oh no, the last one. This is a pretty popular one that I forgot about. Uh did you know that Mickey Mouse has never had suspenders on? What? Yes. What's in holding his pants up? <laughs> <laughs> he's shirtless. Oh my God, he's goals. Oh my God, I want to be Mickey one day. On the beach. Uh, he's never had he's suspenders on, on but in all the costumes of Mickey Mouse, he's always wearing suspenders and like the stuffed animals, he always has suspenders on, but no, he's never had suspenders on in the cartoon. Wow. Isn't that weird? It says you weird. won't find a single picture of Mickey Mouse on the internet wearing suspenders. I'm Googling it. Because <laughs> it's weird. It shook him a little bit. That one is weird to me. Why would he be shirtless? That's weird. A shirtless rat? There is a cartoon character that wears suspenders. Which one? I could see it. He's on like a fucking train. He's going bloop, 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 bloop. A Mickey Mouse? Or you remember him wearing it because he did. Literally, yes. That's the Mandela <laughs> effect, baby. He did wear suspenders. If I you have to that. Google it, you're shook. <laughs> right? Oh, shit. You about to roofie us, bro? <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Thank you. Why is it sticky? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, I know this is really weird. <laughs> so obviously we've all heard of different conspiracies involving food. Uh, a lot of people think that Mountain Dew makes your dick small. <laughs> oh my God. I did. It. I remember hearing about that. That had the growers real worried. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes. <laughs> I hate that dude just because of that. Then there's obviously the uh, theory that the McRib, it only comes out once a year because it's actually made with like all the stuff they can't sell from the animal. You know oh. what I mean? It's like a liquidation sale of meat. Yuck. Oh, but that's not true, right? It's Wait, Chris, bad. are you looking that up? I was looking at the Mountain Dew thing, sorry. Oh, right. Oh, you're scared? Yes. <laughs> It's, I think it's a lie. It's a lie. Okay. Good. Um, but not Baja Blast, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I have handed everybody two different types of soda. And I want everybody to try each 
and pick which one you think tastes the best. Did Better? you label which is which? It's no. very... I trust you. We're not it's guessing just... what it is. We're just... No, just taste it. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh my god, that one's good. Yeah, I haven't had soda in like three months. I don't think I've ever had not diet soda. Oh, this is regular? Oh. Okay. Does um, everybody have the one that they like the most? One's Wait. Coke and one's like really knockoff. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that gold went there. Yeah, now, dude, I haven't had soda in so long, so this is just kind of like It's nice. so good. <laughs> you can tell that like one's so powerful and beautiful and one's like... And, eh. and it's definitely, it's like powerfully sweet. <laughs> okay, so everybody with the hand you're holding, uh, put out one of your hands and, and say which one you like the most. I like this one the most. You like that one? Which one do you like the most? I mean, it's not even about what I like the most. One's just bad. I mean, this one has a more pleasant taste. Okay. One's flat and awful. Now look under your cup. Is there a sticker under your cup? No. No, 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 no. Yes. Uh, Interesting. Okay, so the one, so the only person that picked the sticker one was you. The one that has a sticker under it is Coca-Cola. What? And the other one is Pepsi. Oh. Now the theory is, the theory is, Everybody, except for Jared, chooses Pepsi if they don't know what it is. But wow. the second you know it's Coke or Pepsi, people usually pick Coke because Whoa. Coke is the cooler one. I did that experiment in like sixth grade. Really? Pepsi. Where I think it's the Coke or Pepsi challenge. Oh, I didn't know where, that. Where, yeah, so the theory is the actual product of Pepsi is better, but people love the branding of Coke because it's been around forever. Yeah, it's, it's like the yeah. red. It's, it's embarrassing Christmas. to order a Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, we're looking for sponsors, but yeah. I know, so, and they always <laughs> seem... Except for when Britney Spears was promoting them. Right. It's, been, it's been a while since I ordered one, but it's always like when you go through a drive through and a Diet Coke, we have Pepsi, is that okay? <laughs> right, they make you it's like embarrassed. Like, the thing is, though, the Pepsi was more flavorful. Like, it's so burst, good. It's bursting with flavor. I could not believe it. Like, I literally love it, which is crazy, because, yeah, I thought it was a Coke boy. Wow. So... Try this at home. Try this with your family. Get a bottle of Pepsi and a bottle of Coke. And, and maybe see which you all are like. Pepsi girls and you didn't even know it. Right? That was kind of fun. Wow. That, I thought that was going to flop and it didn't. Hmm. <laughs> Please with himself. I really did. I'm a Coke boy. Okay. This one is kind of a Mandela effect. And a lot of people believe that Warheads, remember the sour candy Warheads? Mm -hmm. Yes. That it those. used to be more sour and they changed it and now it's not as sour. We got a bag here. Like, people are passionate about this. There's, like, Reddit forums. Warheads has come out and said that they didn't change it at all, that it's exactly the same. But a lot of people think they changed it because there's been lawsuits. One boy ate too many Warheads, and it burned a hole through his tongue. So the theory is that they have changed it because it was dangerously sour. Let's test it out. Well, that's exciting. I can't wait to eat one of these. <laughs> I used to love Warheads, and I remember them, like, you put it in your mouth, and it was like, oh, Intense. God. It was, like, yeah. I remember being like, I can't eat this. Okay, so everybody got a red one. We got to do it on the same. So um, let's see if it's as sour as we remember or if I'm it's like an Mandela thing. I'm, super not excited about this. All right. Everyone ready? Three, two, two one. Mmm. Mmm. Really? I don't think it's sour. Are you like pressing it against the top of your mouth? Yeah, it just tastes, I mean, it was kind of sour, but now Ooh. it's sweet. Mm. Was it just intense for a kid? Because uh, this was nothing. Right? Isn't yeah. that weird? This was like nothing. And I they feel like it's all... it. <laughs> 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 He's like dying. <laughs> Maybe you're just a little pussy ass bitch. No, I like spicy food, but this isn't spicy. This is sour. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I, I don't know that you should be doing that. That's definitely I, coming from That'd be really painful. A lot of my tias are dentists. They can I'm be very be tricky. Done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now it's sweet. Tastes like cough drops. <laughs> but did you think it was as sour as you remember? No, I mean I've had more sour can candy recently. There wasn't a warhead. So do you think it's changed, or you think uh, we all just our taste buds changed as we got older, and Ryland's just a little bit? I don't know. I mean, I definitely remember it being such an intense experience, but I don't know if it was just a young kid thing. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, really I'm gonna say it's a Mandela effect, and I think it's changed. <laughs> huh? My whole world's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> this one I don't understand how this would be possible, but from what I've read online, everybody's saying it's true. I have here. Oh, and boy, did we go on a mad Four hunt. <laughs> different sizes of hot Cheetos. 
Okay. I have the tiny bag for like school, the medium bag, the large bag, and I have the party size. And supposedly, every bag tastes different. Why? I don't understand, but everybody's saying, oh no, they all taste different. All right. You know what, actually, Chris, mm -hmm. is it possible to zoom in on like, on me doing this? Dude, this okay. soda is so good. <laughs> All right, so this is the tiniest bag of Hot Cheetos. All right, so let's see how it looks. I mean, looks like a Hot Cheeto, mm -hmm. okay. Very familiar. <laughs> I'm opening up the, uh, the next size up. So this is that one. More of a grower. <laughs> For sure. Oh, okay. This is the large one. This is fucking different already. Ooh. This one, yeah. <laughs> this one's looking I different. I like that. Texture. And well, family size. Chili disbursement was a little off. Whoa, that looks good. <laughs> okay, family size one so far is the biggest. All right. How am I going to do this? Okay, I'm just going to do it fast. Let's see what happens. And then you guys can try. Okay, I'm trying the tiny bag. Very hot. Very puffy. This is the medium bag. <laughs> he put them on the couch. In the how medium. is there a collective group of people that are like, I've tried two and I can attest to that. Whoa, that one is way spicier. That one is way spicier and crunchier. Weird. That's the medium one. This is the large one. This big puffy bad boy. By the looks of it, I would say that one's less spicy. Bland as fuck and very puffy. <laughs> Me. And this is the family size. This one's too okay. I like that one the most. That one's really spicy. Perfect texture. The family size bag one is better. Oh, and it's the most expensive. Interesting. I don't quite understand the theory though. Is the theory that the bigger the bag, the more you pay, the better it is? I don't know. Ooh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that, family? Family size, really good. The parties, for some reason, taste of the spiciest. The party size one is better. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I don't know what the theory is, but it's interesting. I mean, they're definitely different. Well, that was fun. There you guys go. That was uh, my food conspiracies. I'd say they kind of flopped, but also kind of fun, kind of <laughs> interesting. <laughs> kind of stupid, but you know. I will say myth proved. They all taste different. Well, uh, I feel good about today's episode. I feel like uh, we definitely overshared to a point where um, I hope you guys still continue watching. <laughs> go home and tell your boyfriends what you learned. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and if you have a grower boyfriend in your life, say to him, I love you. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you did, make sure to give this uh, episode a thumbs up if you want us to keep making more, because we have to figure out what we're doing. Like, are we going to Colorado? Are we making more? Is this going to continue? I want I want it to. Dude, I think we gave it our all. We left it all out there on this episode. <laughs> no, okay, did, yeah. guys? <laughs> yeah. So no, you can't say we're not real. You can't say we're not willing to share everything with you. I'm having a great time. It seems as though everybody else is too, so I appreciate all you guys. Ah, uh, I can't believe what we talked about. <laughs> I, I, I feel like we all are going to wake up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I might on the way home be like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> yeah. I, but I'm proud of us. Same. We, yeah. we definitely showed a lot of growth tonight. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.